Orlando Brown, not Merlin Brown. Orlando Brown exposes. <laughs> Hello, Cool J. Don't go nowhere. Stick around. We will be right back. Hello, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Too Strong. The Too Strong is always better than one. I'm Corey, and next to me is Downtown Brown. Not Orlando Brown, but Merlin The Brown. sane one. The sane one. The, the tall one. He the, the tall, tall one. one, yeah. <laughs> there you go, the tall one. How are you going to look at me like, why you put my name in it? I had to. Because <laughs> you know how they say, Merlin Brown? He's a criminal. Said these things, that was Merlin. You know, so we got to we got to throw our disclaimers in or else we're going to be in a world of trouble. World of trouble. World of trouble. Hello, Lori. I tried to call Lori today. Lori was too busy for me today. That's that's a shame. I'm going to cry. Everybody hit the like, share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe, and get this in. Uh, see? See, I told you. What did they say? <laughs> I can't see that one, really. That's Oh, weird. I see that one all day long, twice on Sundays. He's Twice on Sunday. Well, I tell you what, I'm not nothing like him, though. Let's make that let's make that clear. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> apparently it's been some crazy accusations made um, about LL by Orlando. And I'm going to say this before we even get into this. Um, hmm. Orlando crazy. All right. Let's make that clear. <laughs> but. <laughs> But Orlando, I think he be saying some true stuff and then he mix it in with his crazy, right? Yeah. And because he mixed it in with his crazy, it sounds so sure. fake yeah. that nobody believes nothing he says. But I'm going to tell you something. Um, I think that we might want to start kind of just listening to him a little bit and catching little hints because, I, I okay, I think between Marlon and I, and we're going to figure this out now, this is a organic we never we didn't discuss this at all i think between between me and merlin we will be able to figure out because i think we have lie detector test <laughs> that you can't get past and i think we might be able to figure some stuff out because this is this is kind of crazy he's he is. Said a lot of stuff i would you know what man um we should have found that ll one i mean not ll shoot uh the will smith one that's the one yeah we talk about that yeah, i have he, that he, somewhere yeah, when he talk about that, that's that's a whole nother uh, level of um, anger that of he crazy. With. Yeah, a whole nother level. Well, I don't know if it's crazy or not. What crazy is mixed with some crazy. <laughs> Look, anything he do is mixed with crazy. It's, it's a recipe to this. You might have, you know, flour, and then you you know you got the butter and you got the milk. One of his ingredients is crazy. Every single time, his main <laughs> ingredients is his one of his main ingredients is crazy. But does that mean that everything he's saying? Is a lie. Absolutely not. I believe a lot of the things that Orlando says, um, I think it's some validity to it. You know what I'm saying? Um, you want you want to tell us? Oh no, we, we should show the video first. Right? Yeah, we should. Uh before we go any further, um, we have a video to show you of Orlando Brown. Hang on one second. Mm -hmm. And uh before you watch this video, I'm gonna put a disclaimer on it. His views do not represent two strongs, <laughs> <laughs> nor does his uh, colorful uh, language. But instead of editing it out, you need to understand that sometimes when people are telling you something, the words they use are part of their reality. I won't say truth, I'll say reality. And, and it also gives you the real expression of how they feel and what, what they mean. They feel. Exactly. Yeah. So he's going to tell you what his belief is about LL. But please, please, it's his tongue, not ours, and we're just showing it to you. Don't associate it with us. We're just giving you the information. All right? Go ahead and uh, roll that beautiful bean footage, sir. News watch deep cover. Ooh, evil motherfucker. 
Everything he does in that movie is what he does in real fucking life. And when he showed what he does to people in that movie, everything stopped for that man. The only thing that man had was that fucking show. You sticking pool sticks up people's asses, my nigga? You chopping niggas' bodies up? You putting them in trash cans? Like you did to who? Venus is Serena's fucking sister? Now, now that's the one we really need to kind of... We're going to talk about that. But. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't you fucking play with me, bitch. You know what the fuck you out here doing to people acting like you the nigga? You ain't nobody's Jehovah. You are not God, nigga. Oh, man. <laughs> now, he mentioned the sister of Venus and Serena um, in the same sentence as LL Cool J doing away with her. Uh, from our research, there was a killing in 2003 of the Venus's half sister. And um, the person that they said did it was arrested, spent 15 years in prison and got out. It was a case of what he said was mistaken identity. So have no clue if the person he was targeting was somebody that LL Cool J knew and he did have set up for it. Don't know that. We do know that that guy said it was a setup. Or it was a mistaken identity thing. So if it was a mistaken identity, that leaves a little more credence on the side of uh, Orlando Brown, as far as I can tell. Because uh, it can't be proven or disproven um, whether or not LL Cool J might have put a hit out on somebody and that guy was hired for it. Um, but it sounds an lot, awful lot like he's saying that he did it directly. Now... We have said our viewpoint about people like LL Cool J before. Listen carefully. We do not like LL Cool J. If you've listened to any of his music, you'd understand why. Um, so I don't want anybody to say, but I thought he was so cool. No, he was not cool. He has never been cool. He They put that face on it to make it look real good, make it te make it uh, likable by people. Um. But is Orlando lying? He lies with a lot of passion. I'll give you that. He know how to lie with passion. That brother know how to be like yeah, he's convincing. It, yeah, he he's a he's a good liar if he's a lie if he's lying. And and keep in mind too another important pointer: they cousins. Yeah, they cousins. Not my cousins, but they cousins. They cousins. <laughs> okay, so would he would he say that? Look. Um, it, would it be true? I don't know. He said some stuff about Jay-Z. He said some stuff about Kanye. He said some stuff about uh, Will Smith. Uh, the Will Smith one is the kind of crazy one. Now, the Will Smith one is the most believable one that he's done. I'm still looking for it right now. Yeah, that one is, that one is very believable. Um, he was mad. I, he was he was mad with a different kind of mad on, on that one. Yes. So something I'm telling you right now, something happened with him and Will Smith. Exactly what I don't know. Don't know. But I'm telling you now, some it was something. It was not is no, no. No, no, no. Something. Go ahead and give it. Go ahead and give you a disclaimer before you say what you say. Go ahead. What's that? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> go, go ahead and say you're not saying. Oh yeah. Saying. I'm not saying uh -huh. that it did happen, but I'm saying that something did happen. <laughs> it's and it's believable. No, very believable for real. Real talk though. Um, I, I can't find the video, but that's okay. I, I can tell you what he said. Yeah. Now, the reason we're going into that story is to make you understand why we went after this story. If one's believable, I got to investigate the other. 
Okay. He said about Will Smith that him and Will and, and Jada um, are notorious abusers of their male friends and the kids, the kids' uh, friends as well. Mm -hmm. um, and that Will Smith uh, had his way with Orlando sexually. Um, now, yeah, you see, I believe that, Chris. I, 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 hundred percent. And if you buy, you're gay. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where this buy stuff come in, but if you say you buy, just make it easy and say gay. Make it. Yeah, you gay man. It's okay. You gay. That's just be, just be, you know, just be straight with us. <laughs> 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 he bye. <laughs> now, Just be straight funny. with us. You gay. Um, so he said that about Will Smith. And we have explored the relationship between Will Smith and Jada uh before. And there are there's a lot of things there that needs to be uh, I think left alone because I don't that that is one crazy, crazy family. Yeah, well, um, and, and don't forget Jaguar Wright spoke out of, about Will. Yes, about doing the same, same thing. Things. So she probably crazy too. She don't seem crazy. I mean, she seem she seem um <laughs> I ain't gonna say it. <laughs> she diff she crazy in a different way, but she got she got her marbles. She thug crazy. Yeah, she there it is. Now, now um or Orlando is crazy. But Orlando is sane at the same time. Orlando is Kanye crazy. Kanye crazy. And Jagger Wright is Merlin crazy. Hey. <laughs> you hey, go I, off. I, <laughs> um, so if he says something that seems plausible to one, one aspect, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. not far-fetched for me to believe that it's the same way in this. Um, mm -hmm. We've covered, like I said, we covered Ella before, and he's not clean. No, it okay. was. You, you got you to say he ain't clean. He low down and rotten. Yeah, between him and, and Nelly, none, none of them are clean. Okay. Yeah. So could Orlando be saying truth? Yes. About him? Yes. Yeah, I could I could 100% believe it's true. I don't know that it's true, but I could believe it. Yeah. I could believe it. Um, the sister thing, him killing, him putting people in body. Like, and you know they imitate their music after their life. Yeah, yeah, because they boldly telling you what they living like. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if, uh, did Jaguar Wright get out of jail? I don't know. I saw a video of her just recently. I don't know if she's out or in or before. Yeah. So she, um, went, she went off try to try to uh, fight her husband or something, did she? <laughs> I don't I even mean, know why she went. <laughs> wow. But the last I saw of her, she was talking the same thing again, but on a different different setup. So uh, she's not gonna stop. She on a trail. That's it. She she on a mission and she and she running it. She running through it. But the fact that she was saying that how many kids be running out of out of wheels in them house and and all that, she's just making too much sense and the stuff is lining up with Orlando. I don't think that to be honest, I don't know. I know a couple people, a few people actually that know Orlando personally. And we need to get them on the show. We've been talking to him, but I had to got to get it together. But um yeah. I would I would guess that Orlando is probably not capable of no maybe he is because he's a professional actor but I'm thinking I don't even know if he was if if he's capable of acting that out like that it's plotting that and do he even know um, Jaguar right right oh they got in the psych ward oh shoot okay okay so let's thank you but okay here we go now here uh oh we here we go now. Here, put out. Let me let me get my tin foil hat on real quick here. Why? Why when they start talking about superstars molesting, having their way with, or being sexually inappropriate with people, do you see the people saying it branded as crazy and sent to places they, I don't know, probably don't belong. Why do why do you think oh. that, do, do we do we consider that like accidental? That's, that's at what right. point? At what point is it accidental or just you know happenstance? 
I don't know. I think, I think she say something about Will. He said the same thing about Will. People have been saying the same thing about Will. And as soon as they say it, those people are going, they just go, whoop, 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 and they get checked into psych wards or they get branded as insane. Question. Do you know what this is? I was trying to look up that psych ward stuff. They said that she rubs dead son's ashes on her face. Oh, it, that was about the story when she threw the uh, her husband threw the ashes out the window or something. I don't know, but even if she did, that's more voodoo and ritualistic than anything else. That ain't crazy. Yeah, I mean, I, okay, well, it's crazy, but I mean, it's not like for no reason crazy. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I mean, I know voodoo is crazy. I get it. Voodoo is crazy. Cutting the chicken's neck and drinking blood. That's crazy, but they do it, uh, you know, ritualistically, religiously crazy. If that makes right. sense. Right. That's like people just acting like um, things are just happening for no reason. She had a reason, whether it was crazy to do it or not, but there's a reason. But that's a different kind of crazy. That's not a, I'm putting you in a psych ward crazy. Yeah. yeah. Dave Chappelle did say, but I think he said something about Dave Chappelle too. Okay. Ooh, Orlando said something about Dave Chappelle. He said, Dave Chappelle, the new Dave Chappelle, he said, the new Dave Chappelle, <laughs> this tall buff N word, he said. <laughs> <laughs> he said this tall buff uh, this tall buff mother you still got the you still got the skinny Dave Chappelle over there in Africa is what he say but man did you see that video about Dave Chappelle I have it, that's crazy it might be true man listen we gotta we gotta we gotta we gotta dig into that and cover that yeah I mean we exposed him once we can do it twice yeah we gotta I wanna talk about that because that don't we got to really take our time and really put that together and make comparisons and everything because that don't make no sense he's a completely different different guy now now first i was like okay maybe he you know buffs buffed up and but no his voice his everything changed yeah everything like he a whole new person wow so uh, like war. so for people who um I might have a hard time accepting this as possible. Uh, before 2001, not a whole lot of people believed that the U.S. government was responsible for a whole bunch of nefarious things overseas. People in, and all of a sudden, a document dump comes out after they passed the Patriot Act. Boom. Oh, we can see more now. And then you can see more now. And then now, what seemed impossible to believe is like, ah, oh, that's normal. We understand. That's what happens. In a situation like this, oh, it's a clone. Oh, it's a clone. Oh, that's dumb. That's so dumb. It couldn't possibly. No, whatever. All the superstars are pedophiles. No, 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 no. They, they all do some crazy ritualistic stuff. No, 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 no. In about three years, people be like, man, every last one of them superstars was actually doing exactly that. And all the people that were called crazy oh, will be like, they're going to be like scholars. Yeah. They'll be fortune tellers in that time. I'm just saying that I've seen enough, and I think Corey seen enough, and I'm pretty sure most of you have seen enough to know this. If it looks weird, don't mean it's not true. It, I, I, it, you know, it just seems unbelievable at the time, but it's very true. Um, who would have thought that there was an absolute ridiculous amount of children being trafficked who would have thought that me i would have thought maybe maybe a hundred thousand a year that's it and then when you hear the action number you're like there is no no really no really and then you hear all of them are being used for sexual reasons and you're like no 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 and now today you're like yeah they were i'm not putting anything past ll cool j or any money person i'm not putting anything by you if somebody starts spilling the beans and all of a sudden they are crazy i'm probably going to end up believing them because they're probably being told to, the public is being told about them because it's me trying to hide my behind if dave chappelle's a clone and it comes out to be true i won't be surprised if i find out later that ll cool j is actually the one who killed Farina, uh, serena williams sister i wouldn't be surprised and if it even comes down to that will smith and and Jada Smith 
are running a sex ring out of their home, I would not be surprised. Oh, please. I'd be surprised if they wasn't. I wouldn't be surprised. Say, so where's the proof he said those things? What things? <laughs> and who? <laughs> you want to play? Let's just play it again for the people that missed it. All you gotta do is watch Deep Cover. Ooh, evil motherfucker. Everything he does in that movie is what he does in real fucking life. And when he showed what he does to people in that movie, everything stopped for that man. The only thing that man had was that fucking show. You sticking pool sticks up people's asses, my nigga? You chopping niggas' bodies up? You putting them in trash cans? Like you did to who? Venus and Serena's fucking sister? Don't you fucking play with me, bitch. Deep cover. You know what the fuck you out here doing to people acting like you the nigga? You ain't nobody's Jehovah. You are not God, nigga. They're gonna prove he said it. We got proof that he said other stuff too. I don't know why. What she was. Saying. I have. I have the uh, the Will Smith one here. The Instagram Will Smith one. Where's the proof? You don't have proof. Um, <laughs> we never have proof. We are notorious for having no proof. Yeah. Um. All I know is that I have seen enough that people call conspiracy to know that when they use that term they're trying to negate the truth that's all i know and i've seen it enough we've exposed enough of it on here you, you look at bob saget same thing he joked joked about stuff he was doing <laughs> right yeah. he was joking about stuff he was doing so why would it be far-fetched for LL Cool J to act out or sing about the stuff he's doing? Jay-Z did it his entire career. His entire career is built on what he actually did into his songs. Mm -hmm. Right? So yeah. why is it far-fetched to believe that LL Cool J, wearing the kind of face he does, looking the way he does, not going to appeal to the people that he appeals to, you gonna think, oh, that's impossible. Look at the same thing I said about Candace Owens. Oh, she's so well spoken. What does that have to do with anything about her viewpoints about stuff? She's she said she's been dumb about a lot of things. Just because she talked good don't mean that she can't be wrong and dumb at the same time. Well, you know what it is. Um she carries herself and uh um I know I know you think she ugly, but um she kind of funny looking, but she's she she's cute at the same time. I don't think she ugly, but she fute. Um, she fute, yeah. <laughs> Funny looking, cute at the same time. And and and, but she knows how to carry herself and 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 have that charm about her. And so people get caught up in that. That's that's all it is with her. She because it's clear. Like look at what she's saying. One minute, you know, um, this rap music is the devil and it's killing our community. And the next minute is is excellence and. She supported, even though it's demonic. So I don't know, but let's let's give the proof about. He's a pe he's a pedophile, and he joked yeah. about being and he did it on the set of a, uh, um, whatever that stupid show he was on back in the day. Just go Just watch, wanted, it. Yeah. watch it. Just watch the movie. I mean, watch the the film. Here we go. Uh, uh, more proof. Oh yeah, disclaimer: cussing. <laughs> uh, disclaimer is the cussing. Let me see. Here we go. Uh oh. Man, that nigga Michael Jackson, bro. You feel me? That nigga Michael Jackson, bro. That nigga set me up, bro. On um, everything I love, that nigga set me up, bro. You feel me? That nigga is tripping, bro. That nigga be on some other shit, my nigga. Like, straight the fuck up. What are you talking about, my nigga? You raped me as a kid, you bitch ass nigga. You raped me as a kid and you raped all my kids, nigga. And you still try to motherfucking get away with the shit, nigga. What do you mean? I'm sitting right here, bitch. Every time I see you, I want to slice your neck, motherfucker. You, you really, really have to understand what the Bible says, bro. The Bible says, it says, honor your mother and your father for your days are long, nigga. I ain't killed you for that reason, bitch. Stop 
fuck you ever get on my motherfucking TV show and act like I'm the motherfucking rapist, nigga? When you rape me, bitch, you rape every fucking body. Whole ass nigga, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? You sound weird, nigga. You sound weird, bro. I'm Trent. I'm your long lost son, Trent, bitch. I'm Trent, bitch, aka Blake Jackson, motherfucker. So wait a minute, this one is, he's saying Michael Jackson, ain't he? Can, can, can you hear me? You muted. Yeah, I can hear you. He said Will Smith, Michael Jackson, him. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, he said Will Smith, Michael Jackson, him. Yeah, I thought I saw that he said Will Smith. Okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah. The real Will Smith, motherfucker. What, what are you talking about? Where's your morning there, bitch? You get it now, what you saying? You've been abandoning yourself yeah, for yeah. years. No, nah, I watched this before, but Damn, this one confused me. Everybody know who Trent is, nigga. Trent is your son. Nigga. Trent is your son. You still trying to kill Trent. Why? Nigga. Keep, you know, I'm just saying, keep your mind right. Keep your grind tight, bro. You know what I'm saying? Don't you ever, don't you ever think that that shit is cool. That was the first setup, bro. You raped me, then, then turned me into a kid. You feel me? Took my house, took all my shit, started raping my family members and all kind of shit, bro. You a fucked up person, my nigga. You a fucked up person. Yeah. See, he, he, um, so he got all this weird stuff going on, saying he turned him into a kid and all yeah, that. By telling them what to do. Yeah. Um, now, I'm going to throw a little fire, gas on the fire. If he was touched by Will at a young age, that would mess his brain up like 60 ways going south. Okay? That would mess him up. That would alone make him crazy if that was the case. And your family? Okay, I could see it. But he's not the only one to talk about what's happened in the Will Smith exactly, household. Exactly. Exactly. I, 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 and they're not accounts that you can just drop as though they're not an impossible. They, they're believable. Okay, how you have a home where you tongue kiss your son, your wife is sleeping around and you don't care, your son come out gay, you laughing about it. Yeah. Your whole family dysfunctional. You walk up on stage and slap a man. You having a whole kind of orgy in your home and your kids are allowed to watch and you want us to not believe that you could have done that? I mean, come on. So, so if Orlando is lying, whatever his lie is has a whole lot of believability to it. Yeah. If Okay. All right. If Orlando is lying, um, he not as crazy as I think he is. <laughs> Because he's picking the right kind of lies, because he's saying things about people, and it's it's so believable because they they um they're connected to these people. For instance, LL is connected to um what's the the uh, the Williams sisters. Yeah. So he didn't just bring he just didn't pull that out out the air out of nowhere. He had some type of reason for saying what he said. Not saying it's true or not. I don't know. I'm just telling you that it can be believable. Then you got LL. So you got Jaguar Wright. She's saying. I mean, not L.O., uh, Will, what's the boy name? Will, yeah. That Will Smith and Jada got all this rape and kid stuff going on, people running from their houses and all this different stuff. And she's saying it with so much passion. Then you turn around, and then now you hear Orlando Brown saying the same similar things. That happened so, to him. That happened to him. So I'm going to tell you what I think is going on. They done, somebody, they, them, somebody, whoever they, them is, done messed this boy up at a young age, and they done drugged him and drove him crazy. So now they sitting back comfortable because here's what they saying. You know what? Anything he say, nobody's going to believe him because he's crazy. Mm -hmm. So just let him talk. 
Let him just yap, 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 run his mouth, run his mouth, because nobody's going to believe him. Because he throwing in some stuff, and I'm sure, I'm sure that he throwing in some stuff that just don't add up, like what, you know, I'm talking about Orlando. But but he didn't just get this stuff out of nowhere. Something happened. And it, and it's pathetic. It's pretty bad, but. Yeah. Right. And, and look, um, if you are a person that believes that this stuff can be true, then there's no. There's no place that you're not going to look at and think it's impossible there. For those of us who look at it, not me, but people that look at it and think, man, this conspiracy stuff is getting out of hand. Not everybody's a child molester. Why do you think all the Hollywood? Then this kind of stuff is going to be impossible for you to believe, even if we brought proof. Okay? There are people to this day that still think R. Kelly is innocent. Because they zoo-zooed. Okay? So I'm just saying there are people that think R. Kelly is innocent and shouldn't be in jail. That's how far people will go to defend stuff regardless of how much proof you put in front of them. I'm not saying that it's true. I'm not saying that it isn't. All I'm saying is that the people that they're talking about, I can see it being true. Easy. Easy. I, I, don't, I don't imagine. I mean, look, man. You know Will Smith is sick to the core. You know LL sick to the core. All you got to do is look, listen, Google Will Smith, uh, any of that stuff, and you'll see it. Uh, LL, all you got to do is go get his albums and listen to it. The man rap about uh, having affairs with little girls. He raps about these things openly on the microphone with music playing and sold millions of CDs doing it. Yep. You know, um, he's saying it right in your face. I mean, I don't know how how anybody can can defend it. Or any of that stuff. And then they say, well, no, but that that ain't what he really meant or something like that. Now, what if what if Merlin or I just said that? You know, it's it's almost like if we if we um we couldn't take that chance, but we could just do a small social experiment and just start saying things and watch how people get in the chat room and go crazy. I can't believe all oh, you this, you that. But then let these yet these celebrities say stuff, and then the first thing people do is make excuses. Everybody, all of them. I'm talking about every single one. They say something and then here come people. Man, y'all just, but who matters? Why does it care? What do you mean? Why do it care? Why do we care? You don't care. You don't care that children are being molested. Why? Because you don't know. You don't care. That's that don't, it. Nothing. That's so you don't care. We shouldn't say nothing. You more mad about us speaking on it than you are them for doing what they did. Marlon, how many times have you seen a comment section? Why do y'all care? Why y'all in their business? Uh, uh, an average about one time a show. At least. And the thing is, if you don't understand, if you don't think it's right for us to be in their business, then I got a question for you. Why are you in ours? Why do you care what we're talking about? And we speaking on speaking against this stuff, but it's just it's just weird how people get caught up with these celebrities and fall in love with them and they can't do no wrong. And that's a dangerous place to be in. I would I would dread to be there. I really would. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I, I used to be that way with a few people that I, you know, looked up to, admired, I, I guess, um, either in music or in the, the entertainment industry. Um, but then I realized they're just people. And. Not only are they just people, they're not something I should be worshiping. So if I have information that they've done something atrocious, I should be able to say, all right, I'm done with that person. It, apparently, there are some that can't do that because their life revolves around them. They're gods to them. Um, yeah. And and as long as you hold that person in that position of godhood, you're, I ain't, I ain't, ain't nobody going to be able to show you. No. You're going to end up looking right at them on right. fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> y'all be screaming for real like y'all at a concert ah, yeah keep on screaming because you're gonna you, you need practice um it says we believe y'all personally i don't get why he hangs around his body i don't know i don't know that he hangs around him i yeah, think I this is information he has because of what happened already yeah he yeah i don't think any of them even associated with him right now no, they're not messing with him. You you think you think you think that LL or 
any of these people going to hang around Orlando Brown? They Listen, they don't want nothing to do with him. <laughs> no matter what they had going on in the past, because he's going to take pictures and make videos and he's going to go crazy on them, right? But the thing is, he, he know what's going on because he still talk to people. I mean, he still talk to people. He just like anything else. He, he's in that circle. Don't get it wrong. He was, you know, Orlando Brown was a big deal. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So he know a lot of people and, and all these people, um, they know what's going on. They know the inside scoop on this stuff. And especially if he'd been through it. So that's how he know. That's pretty clear. So I don't know. You know what I'm saying? What was, what was his, what would, did you ever look into what reason would LL have to kill the Serena girl? Was he dealing with her? I couldn't find any. Um, They were all friends. And I know that he had been partially interested in the, uh, the less manly looking one, um, Serena. Uh Uh-huh. But that's as far as I could find information on. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know if, what, what it, it, it was back in the day too. You're talking about 2003, you know, yeah, 2002. So, um, I'm not sure I could find any information. But here's the thing: I don't think it was necessarily their relationship of the two that were known that would be the issue. I know that he has the fact that he has ties to them to begin with. Um, now could it also be that uh, 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 he was in charge of the sacrificial stuff for the? Don't know. Yeah, it was, could be. Yeah. yeah. You just don't know. You don't know. I know L. L. Um, he maintained his youth for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what man? <laughs> he did, <laughs> didn't he? <laughs> oh. I was like, man, what this dude? <laughs> what is he doing to look so young all the time, man? I mean, goodness, man. L, you the man, dog. Hmm. He up there looking like he's 20. <laughs> I wonder how he did that. I don't know, man. Uh, I just wonder. Hmm. I don't know. Ain't hey, that something? I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> he is uh he is looking really fine with that uh, health no, and wealth thing. But, but Jay Z might not be using the same kind of lotion because he look old. Yeah. yeah. He might have said, No, I'm cool on do the LL. I mean, do, do the Jay Z. I'm cool on that. <laughs> I'm good on that, man. I'm cool on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah he ain't messing with that but but uh yeah uh, evidently some people some people are you know what i'm saying y'all can y'all quit putting that putting that word in there Lori, can you get those words out of there please they just go clown with that please stop saying that <laughs> we try our best to even be low-key too jeez i guess everybody like to know that they like everybody they know. To know that they know no it, I, okay we know, know you know good we know yeah, we know you know thumbs up anyway uh, so that's what we think about mr brown uh i i don't know if he lying but man some of the stuff he's saying be true so yeah um take take it how y'all want i'm just yeah. saying that uh, the industry ain't clean <laughs> <laughs> the industry is not clean it ain't so y'all be alert be aware too hey we um I'm going I'm to go and throw this out there. Yeah, go ahead. I know it's hey, I, Look, I'm seeing your face and I'm reading it. Go ahead. Okay. Listen, y'all. We got something to tell y'all. <clears throat> so what we decided to do with The Mix, we have a new show called The Mix. Merlin, can you grab the, the link real quick, please? No. And put it in the, in the thing. So what we decided to do with The Mix is we're going to make a all-male cast, right? So we're going to set up a, a audition And we're looking for two more males from the ages of like, we can even go down to 16. No, 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 because we we don't want to get parents, have to get parents involved. We're going to go down to 18 to 45. Between 18 and 45, we're looking for two males. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to set up um, an audition eventually for like, um, I don't know, like a week later or something. And we're going to have a day and we're going to go through privately and, uh, and talk to everybody, and we're going to pick two people out of there. So if we can get enough people to sign up, we're looking for uh, two people to join a group called The Mix, where it's an all-male group. And we're going to talk about social issues, relationships, uh, marital, father-son, uh, community issues, all different kind of stuff like that. So, And it's going to be really interesting. But this is what we're looking for, from 18 to 45 <laughs> males. What you got? 
It's like the third time I got asked. Like, that's one. That's two. That's three. <laughs> Do they want me to be honest? <laughs> no, they don't. I don't. What are you talking about? I don't. I mean, <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I tell you what. <laughs> we agree with that line. I fully agree with that. No, women lives matter a lot. Women lives do matter, and in order to save a few of them, we're not putting them on the show. But <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> wow. No, but because you know what we um. I, I think that it's time for males to start talking. You know what I'm saying? And we have to get our perspectives out there. I mean, it, it's nothing. It's nothing against women. You know what I'm saying? You got all all female uh, shows, and we want to do a we want to try out a male show so we can talk. I think y'all might like it. Won't, don't y'all want? Y'all don't want to listen to the all males? What's going on? I, I don't know. They hate men. Y'all hate men. Wow. How about that flip? How about that flip the role? They gonna say we discriminatory against women? They say, do you hate men? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> huh? You hate men. He said, "What about what about the women?" Um, you know, if we find the right the right combination, we do. It got to be uh -oh. really right. Uh oh, uh -oh. Uh oh, let me see it. No, no, that's no. not. Don't even go there. Don't. No, we didn't. We didn't. No, no one's scared. No, no one's that's scared. not what It's a no. We, have, we, are, we are changing directions. It's that's a it. simple change of directions. No, Courtney is Courtney is amazing. Um, but we just going in, everybody going in a different direction. That's it. There's nothing, nothing bad or about nobody to be said. We're very professional here. And that's it. Um, and we're not focused on that. What we're doing is we focusing on what we're doing moving forward. And Third. moving forward, we need um, we're looking for two, two males to join us. And, and I think it'd be uh really good. So oh sorry, sorry, interruption. May men. men. <laughs> We're looking for two men. <laughs> no, that can be male because they, they eventually they, on this show they're gonna they're gonna turn into men, okay. and that that'd be even more purposeful. So we're looking okay. for two males. Okay. All right, all right. Cool. And, and and believe me, if they stick with the show long enough, if they are just males, they will turn into men. Something ringing. Uh, can you guys uh, hear that ringing? The phone. That might it be. just stopped. Crazy. Uh oh. Orlando been been around. <laughs> <laughs> I hear ringing in my phone. It was LL calling. Yeah, they were me. hearing it. They were hearing it. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't hear it. It was on your end. Impossible. You're the only one that has a phone that could come through. Impossible. Because I'd have heard it through my system. Oh. And on top of that, my phone is not connected. Oh, I don't know. It wasn't me. Orlando Orlando Brown's calling in somehow. I don't, I don't know who it was, but I know it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my my stuff is not even hooked up through there. So, so yeah. Um, if we could um just um do that. If so, if, if any man you know hit us, let me put the email up. Let's do this. Put the email up. Put it up. Put it up. Just hit that email. Say, hey. you know, we we might we might find find a couple of people with no edition, and we and we open. You know what I'm saying? That people that already got platforms, and it's gonna be listen. It's gonna be good, and um. And of course, yes, it's a paying gig. Also, it's a paying gig. It pays. So, if you're interested, let us know. You know what I'm saying? Too strong podcast at gmo.com. You will be a part of the mix. A part of the <laughs> mix. So, hit us up and let us know, ladies and gentlemen. And if you have any uh, show ideas for us on either side, let us know about that too. We are open to uh, looking at different things because we are here to to serve you all, and we appreciate all the love and all the support, the shares, the likes, all that stuff really matter and we really do appreciate it probably a bit more than what you think okay so stay tuned with us and, and uh work it work it out with us so tomorrow 8 p.m eastern standard time and keep in mind keep in mind if you know any males that'd be good for the mix hit us up and let us know because we'll eventually set up a audition to get two more people okay listen y'all we done and we hope y'all appreciate it we appreciate y'all but we out of here and uh do us a favor do yourself a bigger favor and wake up before you go to sleep Peace. We out of here.